Every excavator is a little bit different, but the first thing we're gonna attempt today is teaching you guys about temperature. Right now it's 39 degrees up here in Minnesota and it's probably gonna warm up to about 60 to 70 degrees. We're gonna see that hydraulic oil growing at 1%, meaning that all the oil in the lines, in the cylinders, in the motors are gonna grow at 1%. We're gonna start seeing, even though we unhook this with them with no pressure in them, by 65, 70 degrees today, they're gonna to be pretty pretty tight. It's not gonna be able to hook this up unless you actually take and loosen these up. What we can do to avoid that is, right now this has been sitting so the oil's 39 degrees. If we take and warm this oil up to 120 degrees, when we unhook it and it cools down to 60 degrees, we're actually gonna create a negative. So these are gonna hook up easily. So it's super important in the morning, guys, always unhook your attachments with the oil warm that's 120 degrees that's always should be your goal every time and it'll help you when you go to rehook it with a temperature differential so i'm going to show you how we do it so a good way to warm up uh, your attachments if you got a motor always just run one direction these line sets on the excavators are pretty long so sometimes if you just go back and forth you won't actually get hot oil in the attachment because it's just circulating up and back and forth on the bone. It is uh, always nice to plan your day, night before, just take and decide what you're gonna have on in the morning. While the machine is hot, unhook it, and then hook up what you're gonna do the next day. One of the things you want to do before you release the pressure on the machine is you notice when I open and close, I'm high pressuring. I'm putting full 3500 PSI line set when I open and bottom out the cylinders. So what you do is you open it and then you just hit the switch and close it a little bit. So what that'll do is release all that tension off the line. Same with the rotate best is to idle the machine down and you can actually hear the oil releasing if you're releasing your pressure like this you got a lot of oil and a lot of pressure to deal with so just give it a little nudge same with the rotate just kind of get that released all of your machines are going to have a hydraulic enable a button if you let this machine sit too long, there's an accumulator on the charge system that stores a little bit of energy. So when you turn the key on, you gotta cycle it, lift this up, cycle the key on, put your safety down right on the Kubota. They got a hydraulic enable, push it, boom. You were able to release. The problem is you only get to use that function two or three times to release it and the accumulator for the charge is empty. So what you gotta do is go back up, restart it, do not touch anything. Just let the accumulator refill, shut the machine off, turn the key back on, safety switch. Once again, this is super critical. Hydraulic enable is activated, release, rotation, clamp. This is super important. A lot of guys I talk to on the phone, they go through this process, but what they do is they go like this, and then they go mm doop a doop a doop They never hit the hydraulic enable. Without the hydraulic enable, these switches don't do anything. I always release my clamp first because that's the hardest and the most oil. And then what I'll do is when I go to the right, I'll do this one left and right, and then I'll do it this way. So I do a sequence of this, left, right, this, left, right, and then I copy. And that seems to release the pressure the best. The thing is, when you go to run the machine, now when we unhook this, so we can hook and we can, un, we can hook it back up, right? So let's take and unhook this unit. And then let's go and start the machine and run it a little bit and high pressure some functions. So 
So here we ran the machine. So right now there's a lot of pressure in it. We did not release the pressure on the machine. We'll just go ahead. So this one, a lot of pressure. So what we're gonna have to do now is because we ran the machine, it did bleed some pressure into these lines from the spool leakage. So what we're gonna do now is, we know it's not in the grapple. We just unhooked it. Once again, start it. Let the accumulator build up. Turn the key on. Safety, hydraulic enable. Release. Voila. Made here, made better, CMP.